Now I was told if you plant one of these in the backyard, it'll grow into this. <laughs> it's a rolling, that's what she said. <laughs> when I saw it on OfferUp, I had to buy it. <laughs> the good news is if you buy one of these and your wife finds out, you have a box you can live in now. Welcome back to the Skill Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Today we're taking a first look, run, and review of the new Axial SCX6 Honcho. And here it is, not on the bench, because it's absolutely huge. If you uh, have seen the old review of the Axial SCX6 Jeep JLU, you'll know that these are gigantic and an entirely different driving experience that I absolutely love. These are amazing. And if you haven't driven one yet, Find somebody who has one. Actually, if you don't want to spend money, don't find someone who has one and do not drive it. Because if you do, you will love it and you will get one. This is the second one I have now. And there are a few differences over the JLU. Mostly cosmetic, but mostly cosmetic in a very good way. I'm really glad they brought the honcho back. The honcho has always been one of my all time favorites. I still have an in the box SCX10 honcho kit to build. I've been collecting upgrades for it and got a few new upgrades this weekend that I think are going to make it an excellent project for much later on. Enough of that though. We're talking about the SCX6 Honcho and man, they packed it full of really great things. New uh, Falcon Wild Peak um, MT tires. These are 7.2 inches tall. <laughs> Sounds so weird saying that. Uh, very nice grippy compound. Uh, it does have the softer foams from the uh, original SCX6, so you may want to go in and replace those. Um, Proline now offers a foam. Steady Spin also offers a foam. I think Crawler Innovations might even offer a foam now. All really good foams. Uh, but nice to see another tire in this gigantic size. I think that's four now that you can get. The original had KM3s, uh, then they offered the Hyrax. Then they offered the Super Swamper and now the Falcon Wild Peak. So four tires for a truck this big. That's pretty good already. That's really amazing. Uh, On to the body itself, though, you see in front of you a very good looking honcho. Now, to fit the SCX6 dimensions, I feel like its overall length may be a tiny bit shorter than it was. And it's hard for me to get a great angle of it here on this camera because there's only so much room in here uh, but this uh, is a really good rendition you get a nice set of uh, plastic sliders uh, new DeMello off-road front bumper with the optional uh, winch fair lead so maybe someone out there can make a winch for one of these molded plastic cage I'm gonna spin it around here slowly so I don't drop it uh, but really good looking cage here to fit the dimensions of this SCX6 uh, you've got some D-rings on the back there. You can see there's some light buckets, just like the original Honcho, which is a nice little feature. Spare tire, functional spare tire. Uh, we've also got some sand ladders back here and a little uh, compartment. And I haven't really figured out what that compartment is for, uh, but you can almost put a can of, you could put one of those mini cans of soda in there or like a, maybe a tonic water if you're out on the trail and you need some quinine. The functional sand ladders are included there. That's a really nice touch. And um, these metal uh, panels here that have some of the sponsors there. Falcon, Black Rhino, and DeMello Off-Road. DeMello Off-Road for the front bumper, uh, Black Rhino for the prim wheels, and Falcon for the tires, obviously. You can get it in two different colors, this red, and then there's also the original sort of uh, tan kind of color. Not original, original, but SCX2 poncho color. Uh, there is a full interior in this truck. Some molded details, but some really nice looking Lexan. Not a full depth interior, but deep enough that you could cut one of the 12-inch uh, uh, army men and plop them in there pretty well, I'd say. Uh, it's the perfect Josh interior because there is no driver. Some nice graphics were included on the hood as well. Uh, let me try to tilt that for you. There you go. Uh, also, whoa, also with the um, sponsors uh, emblazoned on there and a uh, really nice molded plastic grill piece as well with wipers too so you're getting a nice set of wipers uh, it looks fantastic big plastic uh, molded grill 
and light buckets. Lights galore. There's over 20 LEDs on the SCX6 Honcho. You get uh, these great spotlights. They look like Baja Squadron Pros, which uh, I actually have on my Jeep, so that's pretty cool. Um, you get three LEDs plus marker lights in the headlight buckets. There's also fog lights in the front bumper, and then there's those two tail lights on the rear. So overall, it's a pretty loaded and darn good looking SCX6. I'm thrilled that they did the Honcho. On the inside, all the same stuff. 1200 KV, 3S capable brushless motor, 120 amp Spectrum Firma ESC, 201 ounce inches of torque on the shifting servo because this is a two speed truck and that two speed is a very nice ratio between crawl mode and ludicrous mode. I love it. 550 ish ounce inches of torque on the steering servo because with a truck this big, you will definitely want some steering power. I would recommend a BEC for the actual steering servo on its own does tend to want to brown out that ESC. You can hear it, the fan slows down when you get it all bound up. So something you might want to add in the future if you are going to be running this a lot on the rocks, which why wouldn't you? It's absolutely perfect for that. One other nice feature, the thing I didn't love about the JLU uh, SEX6 was how difficult it was to get the body on and off. And they've rectified that by making the honcho a hinge mount. So it's hinged at the back, easy access, two pins underneath hidden again so you're not seeing any body pins sticking out of the top of the hood. That makes it a lot easier. There are inner fenders as well on the front of the honcho here so you don't see in any of the electronics. It's all hidden. You do get that engine cover as well so when you do pop the top you get a little look at a motor which is kind of nice as well. I have to say I think they knocked it out of the park. They really did. Axial has done an amazing job with the SCX6 line. And if this is a precursor of things to come, I only hope that they keep doing it. And I, I really hope that the aftermarket really appreciates this truck as well and pushes a lot of stuff out there. Do you have an SCX6? Have you lent it to a friend? Do they now have an SCX6 too? Post your comment down below. You know I love reading through your feedback and I try to answer as many of them as I can. And if you're enjoying this video and you like seeing gigantic trucks like this, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already and ring that notification bell anytime. And ring that notification bell so you get a notif... Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild. There, I got it right. And just like last time, you get the DX3 Spectrum Transmitter. Uh, this one is fairly analog, but it's got a thumbstick on it, and it gives you a smart battery level indicator if you're using smart batteries, so you know when to plug in the second one for your return journey. It's a pretty nice little feature. Uh, oh, Easter egg time. If you look really closely on the headlight decals, it says Axial Racing 2022, which is funny because they're Axial Adventure now. They must have done this a while ago. <laughs> I am really super excited. Enough of me talking about it. Let's get it outside and run it.
Well, here we are out at my favorite spot, Rattlesnake Point. We're driving the Axial SCX6 Honcho and uh, having an absolute blast with it, I might add. Uh, it's such an interesting driving experience and there's really nothing quite like it because it just goes over <laughs> nearly everything in its path. It's pretty hilarious. Because the size is so big, it is a lot more realistic and, uh, for me, a lot more fun. To have something like this that's been redesigned for the larger scale, it's just so much fun. Like, I love this thing. I've always liked the lines of the honcho. I think they did an amazing job recreating it in this larger scale. I love all the added lights. I love the added interior. I love the hinged body. It just, they've kind of improved on everything that I didn't fully love about the SCX6 JLU. Now they've just made it that much better. Everything about it, in my opinion, it's kind of the perfect large scale crawler. All the molded details, great looking cage, that storage compartment, sand ladders, spare tire, inner fenders, 20 LED lights, new Falcon Wild Peaks. It's pretty much all you can ask for. And uh, I'm thrilled. Really happy with the new SCX-6. I really like the SCX6 platform. I'm really glad to see another one. I hope we see more. This has been a lot of fun. My thanks to Axial for sending this my way, and I hope you've enjoyed this quick review of the new Axial SCX6 Trail Honcho. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again soon.